Hey everyone, it's Steve -O from the forums. I'm just going to shoot a quick video of my bike. Um, for a lot of you people that have seen my build already, uh, I was presently using just until just the last few days uh, 10 parallel 24 series of A123 batteries for a total of 240 cells. I am now using only 16 series 10P battery uh, of, of A123, which is bringing me in around 52 53 volts, I believe. Uh, and 32 pounds as opposed to 48 pounds of battery which I had before. Um, in this build, I took, I've, uh, before as I was saying, I used to use my 5304, which uh, as many of you know, I did try to do Star Delta with. My connections are still here with even the temperature sensor in this motor, but unfortunately, I was not successful. I even had the cooling added. Cooling works pretty well if you ask me I'm very impressed with the cooling uh, however I was not very found the weight I've been calling those people and just trying to get my bike lighter so by removing the motor I'm presently saving 10 pounds compared to the motor I'm using right now compared to the batteries or the lesser batteries uh, I, I'm, I'm saving probably another 15 16 pounds so in total let's just say 25 pounds reduced off the bike it makes quite a difference uh, when you ride this bike um, but I'm going to show you my build. So for batteries, I'm still using Gary's uh, board, which seems to not be working properly. If anyone could tell me what's wrong. Uh, the green light that you're usually supposed to come on at the end of charging, it turns green. But I never get the orange lights to terminate. So meaning that, for example, each cell will be around 3.65, 3. Uh, let's just say 3.68 volts I have my charger set at right now per cell and what happens is they all light up and it just keeps staying on the bleeding section it doesn't switch over to shut off the BMS and terminate the charge I don't know if there's something internally wrong with the BMS maybe I damaged it at one point which I've done many times but I've repaired it and it's working but I will get to that if you guys can sort of point it out I'd be very very happy and pleased I believe it's all to do with the the main circuit there if there's anything wrong but anyways, that's another story. But uh, going back to what I was saying with my Star Delta, I'm still using my Mega Controller with 45 uh, IRF 4568 MOSFETs, 150 volt MOSFETs. The shunt is set at 125 amps, which is too much. I got to re actually reduce the shunt in this to use my motor, which looks like this. Threaded side cover for the sprocket. And the motor came originally with a drum disc brake, which you see there. This is a spare motor, which is for sale. Anybody wants it, sale. Ask me about it, I can sell it off to you. Um, so yeah, with my motor particularly, what I've done is I've put two threaded side covers. So one of them holds the sprocket. One of them holds the disc brake, which I actually got a nice uh, threaded adapter for this disc, which I'm very happy with. It's off another bike. A bicycle and I made it work with my little mechanical disc brake I didn't go crazy on the rear I just I'm, I'll be happy with a mechanical for now and uh, I'm using Dr. Bass's Star Delta setup so as you can see I did also this motor Star Delta uh, I'm using six of these relays I will read you what it says um, if somebody can interpret how much amps these are good for me uh, that I can actually put to the controller to this motor but it reads the, the coil is a 24 volt coil. It says half, sorry, third horsepower, 120 volt VAC max, uh, half horsepower, 240 VAC max. Then it says 10 amp, 240 VAC, and then it says 30 VDC max. So I'm not, I don't know how much uh, amps these are rated for to put to the motor, but. I won't lie, today I probably put around 70, 80 amps through these relays, which are in parallel, as you can see. Two of these relays are per one phase, and so forth. So there's essentially six coils that fire up when I hit the trigger uh, to switch over to delta mode. And yeah, so I run it today. Um, I'm just, I'm testing this motor. To be honest, anyone that will ride or ever try this type of motor, this is a, this is smaller than the 20, if you haven't noticed. This is a 16-inch wheel. So, it's very low to the ground. I mean, 
like my hand goes under there, four fingers, a little bit stretched, but um, I'm I'm not too happy with the torque. It's it's good. Uh, obviously, it's not a 5304. It's it's good torque at low end. Uh, speed in star mode is only up to around. I'm estimating um, uh, around 40 kilometer an hour. Let's just say 40, 45 ish. When I hit delta mode. That's when this motor shines. I mean, the torque band you hit in Delta is, is unbelievable. I can't even believe it. I mean, it picks up, <laughs> I think it picks up harder in Delta mode than it actually picks up in Star. But from 40 all the way to 60, it pulls pretty hard for what it is. Like, I can crank the throttle on this thing. I'm scared I'm going to blow it in Delta mode. But, uh, I mean, with this ridiculous con strong controller, uh, hopefully I don't burn out any windings. I'm very happy with the power to weight ratio it has for what it is. Uh, ideally, what I'd like to do is create a two-wheel drive bike with these using these motors. And I'm actually thinking of it today because I have the less batteries. I'm actually thinking of doing a BMX. Uh, why not? It would be really cool. Two-wheel drive. BMX has a, a much better front beefy fork. The bike rides lower to the floor, so it would suit these wheels a lot better. And I, I can customize the axles on these things, which is another story. It's all DIY for me, but I can make it work. I know I can. Um, the only issue is getting two motors to do star, delta at the same time. Um, it's something that uh, I would really love to do uh, to see the performance of this bike because I know it would be really, really uh, quick, I, I think, off the line. And uh, I mean, delta will pull ridiculously hard. And again, I'm only using 48 volts of battery, uh, or sorry, 48, 52 volts, whatever you calculated for A123, 16 series. So I, I don't know if I mentioned it. So I'm going to say, I think in star mode, I maxed out around 40, I'm going to say 40 to 45 estimating. And in Delta, I maxed out around 71 kilometer per hour, again, estimated. Um, the reason why I'm saying estimated is because I don't know how to configure this motor for the, the cycle analyst. I don't know how many poles it has and also the circumference. I can measure that, I know. Uh, but the issue lies if, ever, if you guys ever, if there's anyone that's encountered this problem as well, uh, if you read in the cycle analyst manual when you adjust the wheel size and motor, uh, there's a portion that says, you know, depending on how many poles your motor is. I don't know how many poles this is, but uh, I, from what I understand, the less poles you put, uh, the, it basically hits the speed faster. The more poles you put for this motor in particular, it, hits this, it takes longer to, to hit the correct speed. I don't know if I, I can explain that properly, but what I'm trying to say is I set this to 14 pole. And I put my wheel circumference at like 890 millimeters. Like it's ridiculously uh, uh, off a, uh, offset to compensate to have the correct speed. Now, again, I could only guess at this point. Uh, but if anyone, again, can help me to configure the speed of this wheel. It's 16 inch diameter wheel. The tire is a 16 by 2.15. Uh, I would really appreciate that so I can get my correct speed. But from what, Ju again, from what Justin says in the cycle analyst manual, that if you c cannot set the correct pulls in the cycle analyst, you have to compensate by changing the wheel size, uh, which is what I did. And uh, I'm going to probably end up lining up behind, beside a car doing 30 kilometer an hour and try to get this bike to do dead on 30 kilometer hour compared to the car and also uh, compared to my cycle second bike so that about concludes our build uh, or my video before i run out of time on youtube uh, for sale anyone i'm not selling this baby yet i'm gonna still keep this even though i might so keep your eye on the form for that selling my 405 spoked in a beautiful 24 inch sun bfr rim with 12 gauge spokes and washers on these I mean if if I can get a fair price I might sell it with the rim if not for shipping purposes I might just sell the motor off uh, really cool motor for a low voltage build and a lot of rpm so uh, that